We found a 40-year-old Pontiac Sunbird underwater, and today we're going to remove it with our tow truck. Announcing 1979 Pontiac style with our new Sunbird Coupe. Definitely a truck, there's definitely a car, there's definitely a boat. Three big ugly items that need to come out of the river. <laughs> well, let's hope nothing bad happens. Nope. Oh, it's definitely moving. I can feel it. I can feel it in the wrecker. You're doing a great job, Jeremy. Shut up. I wonder if that's OSHA approved. Probably. Oh God. We had a blowout. More 79 Sunbird for less money. Now that's starting the new year Pontiac style. I'm Adam Brown. And I'm Jeremy, AKA Nug. We search the rivers and lakes across America for wrecked vehicles underwater. You wouldn't know it by just looking, but there's thousands out there and everyone tells a story. Insurance fraud, stolen, accidents, it's our mission to search for the missing, find vehicles, and remove them from harming our environment. This is Wrecked and Recovered. I don't know where I'm going. Wake up! I don't... Uh, what? You need to quit being all sick, playing sick. Man. It's not like it's like 30, <laughs> 30 degrees. I'm gonna cough up a kidney here in a minute. The door's open. Whose door? Your door. The door's not open. So apparently, <coughs> gosh, dude, you need a cough drop? I got one. Oh, uh, I'm just, I'm just getting over my illness, but I got the scratchy. Man, why'd you hit every bump in the road, dude? Well, oh my gosh. The thing is, that this tow truck has no suspension. Apparently, no. You drive around a skateboard. Where are we? We are somewhere right on the edge of Alabama. Yeah, we're out in the middle of nowhere. Well, yeah. The thing is... Who told you about these cars? How do you know those cars are here? A fisherman said that he saw two cars. Oh, yeah? And you guys can see the picture here. Oh. Or here, I don't know. And uh, it looks like at least one. I don't know if it's over here, off the edge, or what. But we're going to get out here and check them out. And this may be one video, maybe two videos, or maybe zero. Uh, is it dinner time yet? I don't know if we're gonna find Mexican food out here either. I don't, know. I don't think they. Well, there's corn everywhere. We we'll just go out and get, get a couple of husks. Uh, I think they. I think we're too late. Well, there might be a few old. We might have to brush off. The Maybe a kernel. Brush off the maggots. Maybe we'll find a kernel after. All right, well, let's get out of here. See if we can find these cars. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is the Tennessee River, it says, Scottsboro to Chattanooga. Huh. It looks pretty clear. I mean, I've, I've, you know what? It could it could be worse. Could be better, too, though. <coughs> yeah, it could be freezing my feet off. Could be nice, feet off. sunny, and warm. I know. But, um, yeah, I don't have a lot of details about the exact position of these cars, but I got an image, <laughs> and I'm guessing and hoping it's right here off the ramp, because that would make our lives easier. It really would. But there's a lot of access down the main road. Could be out in the main section of this this river, so. If anything, there's not a current. Not really. Just so. the wind. Well, the wind, yeah, the wind. If anything, the wind's just gonna make us more cold. But, yep. I think, I think we'll find them. They're probably right here, textbook. Just drag these babies up, be done with it. Let's go, let's go find out, shall we? Mess with me. Concentrate. One false move and this whole baby could go. Alright. That's something. Oh. No, that's a pickup. It's a truck, yeah, it's a pickup truck. Wait, aren't we looking? Oh, is it oh there's three? I don't know what that other one is, the first one we crossed. That might have been that. Simply a pickup well, in a car. We're right off the boat ramp. We are looking for a, a truck though in Alabama. <coughs> Oscar Lewis King. Yeah, yeah awesome. I mean Lord knows where he's at, so. Definitely a truck, and there's definitely a car, and there's definitely a boat. Yeah, it's definitely a boat. It's 
big boat. <laughs> they just like scrapped it. Yeah, I mean, right here off the boat ramp, it's not necessarily an accident, I don't think, unless they forgot to put the plugs in. So that's a truck. And right in front of it's a car. A I don't car. think, I think they're both on their wheels, which is good. Car right next to it, yeah. Keep going. You wanna keep going? I don't wanna keep going. We're gonna find like 10 more. We got, we got three big ugly items that need to come out of the river. <laughs> All right, we're gonna stick this magnet or what, man? I don't know, we could. Where are we looking? I don't know. Right here? Hey, I can see pretty far down. I'm hitting something right here. Might be the truck. All right, good to go. Listen, today is not a sexy sizzle real day. What's up, about? <laughs> I, I, listen, we've been getting lots of comments about, oh, y'all getting chunky, this and that. I thought you was actually losing weight. What the hell happened? I've been working out and still eating, maybe eating, eating more. That's the problem, you're getting, you're getting bulky. <laughs> but uh, we haven't worn thermals in a while. <laughs> you mean nervous to put them on. I haven't worn thermals, you know, yet. I don't know if I, I don't know if this I might need a winch to put on my I don't know if that really does anything. Nah, it's just there for <coughs> I'm sure my suit's gonna leak. I need to get a new dry suit. Wink wink. Dare to dream. <laughs> we'll make it work. <laughs> It just ain't gonna be pretty. We got a lot going on down there. Today. All right, got, finally got my dry suit on. It was not fun, but I'm warm. That's good. No help to you. We help with my shoes. I help with your shoes. He kissed my teamwork. <laughs> so, what's the plan here? I got this long rope. I don't even know, dude. The the, the coldness is causing me to uh, rethink everything. I'm not cold anymore. I just, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just hoping miserable. my dry suit doesn't leak because I had, I've had to put so much glue and stuff to fix it. I mean, I know it's gonna leak. I'm really nervous. I'm hoping it doesn't. But uh, I mean, cut and dry. I guess just take we'll that rope down there and see if we can to, hook it on. To, I guess we're gonna pull the truck out first. See if there's something on the rear, like a, a trailer hitch. Yeah. <coughs> something easy. Go from there. Yeah. I have a feeling it's a bad idea. <coughs> what is it? Be out here. About a hundred percent. Let me feel horrible. Not leaking as of yet, but uh, my shoulder is like the thing that's leaking. I think that's the problem. We should like saran wrap that thing. <laughs> I think, well, I don't know. We'll find out quick. No freezing death. Actually, no, you survived the whole time. You know, all day last time. You know, you used mildly hypothermic. But yeah, but I want this to be a lot quicker because the blow ramp's right there. Right. There's not much left of this thing. 
pretty buried too. I am not sure we're going to be able to get this out. Man, there is a giant boat right here. up to? It's better than the truck. It's still a little buried, but I think uh, I hooked onto the wheel, front wheel, so. Oh, you got the Pontiac hooked up? Yeah. Okay. The truck, I think, is a lost cause, man. I mean, that one's, it's possible. I think, I think it would give us a lot of trouble and rip apart. But this one's put together enough. I mean, the roof, like the, the roof is kind of gone in this one yeah. it's full of mud but it's a little car <laughs> the driver's window is closed the car, uh, yeah what color is it i don't know huh but it's a pon old pontiac it's pink what's what's the plan here man I'm gonna we're a little ways ways i mean we're taking to I say we hook that on first and then see how oh, we... Yeah, we'll take the, I'm thinking take this out to the buoy. See if we need to back the truck up more or hook, keep it there. Hook this on there and then we'll bring that down there and hook this up on there and then that over there down there and then we're good to go. Alright. Sound good? Sounds semi-smart. Let's take a ride. Alright. Oh. Alright. Almost. Good. Let's see what happens. Man. What the hell? There you go. You know that's a hundred feet from there to there? I don't know. I don't, I don't know either. Alright, so we loosen that. We're gonna pull out all this line. <laughs> we might just have to back the tow truck down, man. Huh? Help like, ain't really, ain't really much helping. As long as it's spooled good, it should pull right out. I don't know. <laughs> throw me that thing in a D-ring. Mm. I'm about to sink in this mud though is what I'm about to do.
Strap on! I'm stuck. I need you to pull me out. <laughs> oh, I'm coming. Uh, I got a lot of air in my tricycle. Here we go. It's one way to do it. Let's hope nothing bad happens. What was that? Oh, broke. Dude, I didn't have anything on that either, dude. What the hell? <laughs> ah, f that. Let's go out there. Hopefully that rope's floating. And just, just square knot that ah. right back together. You know the knots never come apart. Kind of makes sense. This part right here is was all frayed. That sucks so bad. All right, so I just retied that on. We just need to get it up enough to get past this because we need some new rope. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. Strong. No. <laughs> oh yeah. So, I really hope that orange rope holds up. But I wouldn't be surprised if it breaks again. Let's go real slow. Try to break that suction. Got it hooked on. Seems like it's holding better. Yeah. Seems like it's holding better. Is it moving? I don't know yet. <coughs> I don't feel good. That's what's going on. Does it feel like it's pulling? I guess. I mean, it, it, slow, slow. it ain't even tight on the chocks yet. I mean, it's got to be moving. I mean, it's a small car. There's a, there's a mud wall right there. I see bubbles. About to move. It's moving then. Oh, it's definitely moving. I can feel it. I can feel it in the wrecker. You can feel it in your bones? Yeah. where it broke before we got a bunch of lines just hooked together Frankenstein today it seems to be holding though I mean those synthetic lines are strong now but if they start getting wear like the, where it split before because we, we use these a lot so it probably rubbed on some axle of another car we pulled out I'm thinking I don't know how we're supposed to hook it up the rest of the way without you going back down well, I wonder if there's a drop off like all the other spots or if it's smooth. Oh. Oh, you mean that line today? Well, let's take this one out of the picture. You're doing a great job, Jeremy. Shut up. It's almost like you're not even sick. <coughs> oh, I feel it. Now we got some more uh, room there. We'll try that. I think it's, uh, Hung up a little bit. Oh, broke free. I like how that knot's holding. Enough granny knots and you got yourself a good rope. I wonder if that's OSHA approved. Probably. It's right there where the bubbles are. I mean, you can see stuff moving. Kind of surprised. I thought it would come up on the side of the boat ramp. 
Looks like it's gonna come right up the boat ramp. Yeah, it's coming right up. Maybe it'll drive right out easy. All right, so hopefully this will reach that next, uh, that next point right here. And hopefully I don't drop off the edge. Yeah. All right, sweet. It all started back in 79. Man, the sun's going down. I know it is. This is where it's gonna get trouble. Probably. Let's go. Just worried now is if it gets hung up on the bottom of the boat ramp, it's gonna make life horrible for us. I think it's hung up at the boat ramp. Is it? It's acting like it. That's gonna pull it up off the side. Oh. We need to reposition the wrecker. Yeah, that's definitely had a lot of torque on it. Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna back straight down and turn. And let's do that. What do you think? Oh, no. You want me to go back down there? Well, maybe I don't. Maybe I can stand on it. Put a J hook on the other side and flip it with that line. I mean, it's moving. Which wheel you got it on? So this is on the front right. Yeah. Crisscrossed. It's a little far. It's still far down there. Oh, there it is. I'm on the car. Yeah, it's kind of like, so I'm on the front right tire. The front right, it's, it's driving in. Let's try to snatch block it first. Let's see what happens. Should I pull at this angle or go up higher? Try that. I mean, it's close to coming up, but it's on the edge. Nope. Hmm. That's low. Uh, Maybe go out and try it out a little bit. I'm afraid this is gonna break. Huh? I'm afraid this cable's gonna break. Uh, well, hold on. Let me just get out What are you gonna do? I'm gonna hook it on the back tire. Well, now we got a boater, boater coming in. Oh. All right, man, I think we got it. Obviously, it's dark now. Yeah, we ain't gonna see much till we get it under that beautiful spotlight. Yeah, but this one was not fun. No, definitely not. Kicking our butt. But we haven't gotten it out yet, so. The extension's gonna be a problem now. Oh. Uh, let me adjust that. Lower this one. Yeah, if you think about it, it's only five o'clock. 
It was like 20. <laughs> it looks like it's midnight. 20 o'clock. Does that make sense, right? Yeah, that's a lot of weight in there. Stuff that. Just start washing it out. I was trying to get the chain underneath the, the car like this one is. Have you tried turning the wheel? What wheel? This wheel? The steering wheel. <laughs> Not yet. It might turn the tire. Might. Oh God, we had a blowout. No plate. Yeah, I think somebody stole this and dumped it or some variation. Full of mud though, golly. This one was tough, not gonna lie. The Pontiac Sunbird was manufactured from 1976 to 1994 as a sportier alternative to the Chevrolet Monza. As a part of the Pontiac's lineup, the Sunbird catered to drivers seeking an affordable and fuel efficient option, showcasing different body styles, including coupes, sedans, and convertibles over its production years. Yeah, we may have torn the doors off a little bit. And it got dark, of course. But it gets freaking dark at 5 o'clock now, so... Look up where they have the vans on. on the phone. Sheriff's office. So we're basically part of a search and recovery group we travel around and we uh we look for cars underwater so we we actually pulled out an old car and we just wanted an officer to check it out and see if they could run the vent or anything like that um well that's pretty cool yeah <laughs> we pulled anything suspicious i follow people like this on tiktok i hope you're the guy that i follow on tiktok well we might be one of them <laughs> um <laughs> like they find people that like there's like there's bodies in the cars do you see anything suspicious? yeah uh, not on, not on this car. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's just empty. I, I don't see a plate on it. So I'm guessing it was just dumped or stolen, but. Can you um, see the van? Oh, uh, there's some numbers. We're trying to find it right now. So I'm hoping by the time an officer gets here, we can find it. Um, Hold on, Drew. Just a second for me. Okay. So I'm going to call my supervisor and I'm going to ask him, can I just run this van for y'all? Since there's nothing like suspicious, I'm going to ask him if I can run the van, if you can find it. Because I can promise you, there's not a deputy nowhere inside of there. Right oh, okay. Now. Yeah, do y'all have a flatbed on rotation by chance? Um, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I could get you one up there. Because that would help out a lot. Yeah, we're looking for the VIN right now. It's kind of a mess of a car. It's an old Pontiac, Grand, uh, I think Grand Am. That is so cool. All right, we got complete towing just showed up here to help us out. Appreciate you uh, coming out here. Yeah, bro. Appreciate you calling. Yeah, I know it's not the prettiest thing. It took us all day to pull her out with our wrecker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Old Pontiac.
a huge shout out to Complete Towing and Recovery here. We really appreciate them coming out, helping us out. Where are you all based out of? Scottsboro. Scottsboro. So we appreciate you coming out here and helping us out with this and uh, clean up the water. So if you guys need any towing, definitely check out, give Complete Towing a call in recovery. If anywhere near Scottsboro, they can help you guys out. And there's the phone number right there. So we really appreciate it. Another one cleaned up out of the water. All right, as usual, it's the next day. You guys saw we went well into the night. Although it really was only like five or six o'clock. So. It's kind of a, yeah, I know it gets so dark or when you go over there, it's dark really early. It felt like 12. Yeah, that was a disaster. Dang, time change. Almost gave up. But you know, we, yeah, yeah. This is I wasn't like... feeling too hot, so I definitely would have gave up if it wasn't <laughs> He was for you. sick. Our line, actually the line didn't break, it just ripped out the tow truck drove it out oh yeah it was it was a nightmare but we needed to replace that line anyways i don't even know how much this video is going to look how good this is because you always say that and it looks amazing <laughs> it was a mess with filming and it got dark so quick so hopefully you guys enjoyed it i but think it was cool let us know in the comments the company was cool cops didn't even want to come out they're like nope not our problem yeah <laughs> so but luckily we've cool tow company hooked us up yeah huge shout out to complete towing and recovery they are amazing if you guys want to help show your support helping us they helped us a lot so so i'm sure they have a website or a facebook page you guys can go like or leave a comment saying thank you they also do lock smith yeah he did see he does a lot of stuff too they do he a lot dabbles of in all the arts yeah. but uh i mean if it wasn't for the tow companies honestly we would really be have a tough time doing this so yeah we want to get a car trailer and in cars like this where the police can't do anything about it we want to be able to haul it off ourselves so if you know where a good car trailer is, we are looking for one, so. Got a tilt. We need a tilt. I mean, a tilt would be nice, but we'll take anything. <laughs> okay. So, thanks for watching as always. Thanks for supporting us. We'll see you on the next one. I just want to make it awkward for you. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one. Why are you so sick, man? Not sick. What are, you, what are you sucking on? Halls. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, no, halls. <laughs> oh. <laughs> with an H. <laughs> That's what I thought you said. <laughs> Wrong. I don't know what you're thinking. Terrible. All right. This isn't fun at all. I'm already like, whatever, you know what? What is that? Not a sponsor? Heated vest? Bam. Yep. Electrical heated vest. I need some underwear like that. <laughs> Probably sell them. <laughs>